What's going on everyone? Welcome to Fan Part News. Today you got me, your host, it's your boy Drifty from the Football Banner Show. Let's get into it. Now I'm going to start with some uh, politics, a little bit politics. Uh, today Pep Guardiola has been fined £20,000 for wearing the yellow ribbon. If you don't know, the yellow ribbon is a show of support for the Catalonia referendum of independence. And there's been four politicians imprisoned as well, so he's, he's showing his support to them and to that. And it's against FA ruling on the touchline and in the press conferences, so he's been fined. Uh, let's hope that he doesn't do it again because it could become a bigger issue. And there are still a few places he's allowed to wear it, which I'm sure he will because he's in support of it. But he's not allowed to wear it on the touchline or in the press conferences. So he's received a £20,000 fine for that. Uh, okay, now we've got the politics out of the way. Let's get to the good stuff or the fun stuff, should I say. And that is that Neymar... Whew, this is a funny one. Neymar, just before he got that injury, contacted Barcelona and he asked them, can I come home? Can I come home? Please, can I come home? Neymar, come on mate, what are you playing at? Apparently, he wants to come back, he wants to play competitive football again, wants to be in a more competitive team, league, etc, etc. What did you think was going to happen, Neymar? You went to PSG, you chased the big box, and you wanted to get a messy shadow, but you realise the shadow is cast over the entire world. Not just when you're at Barcelona, it doesn't matter where you are. They're just, it's just too big a shadow. It's messy, mate. So he's asked if he can come home. And to me, the funny thing about it, this is basically like the guy who thought he was the big boy, thought he was the big shot, told his girl, I don't need you anymore. I'm leaving you. I'm going to go find a better girl than you. I don't want to be single for a little while been in the big bad world he's out here he's been single for four or five months now and he's realizing man the game's changed and it is not like it used to be i don't want to wife any of these girls out here and none of them are actually better than the one i had she was special so he's come back now he's knocked on the door she's opened the door he's like babe will you take me back she's like i'm with leroy now so mate he's not as rich as you are but he treats me way better than you did bang shuts the door in his face neymar mate I don't know what else to say. <laughs> but this does mean he wants out of PSG. And that's going to open the door for Real Madrid. There's been a lot of rumours going around that Real Madrid won him. There's even rumours he left Barcelona to use PSG as a stepping stone to get to Real Madrid. Whatever the truth may be, if Real Madrid come with a big boy bid, and it will have to be a big boy bid, he's going to want to push for that move now if he's not happy at PSG. I think he's realised that he was probably never going to win the Champions League with PSG. And he just wants to win that. So Neymar, ah, mate, uh, on to much better news on the British front. Chris Hewton has been named Manager of the Month and well bloody deserved. I love this guy, he's, he's just such a good manager. And if, a, if an opportunity comes available at a bigger club, I think he should be the next British manager given a chance. Now, Brighton fans, don't jump down my neck. I'm not saying I want you to lose your manager because I know that's, that's a big deal. But... I'm just mean in terms of like his ability, what he's done, how much he's proved himself in the Premier League now. I think he deserves a big club. But, you know, credit to him. He's got Brighton playing good football off the back of that amazing win against Arsenal. I've got nothing but love and time for that guy. So, well played. I hope you get many more. Plus, it's nice to see a manager who's not one of the top boys. We just thought Pep was going to get manager of the month for every month. So, do you know what I mean? Well played, mate. Well deserved. And to just finish off, a piece of good news for Dortmund. Marco Royce, kind of the forgotten man to everyone else, signed a new deal. He'll be at the club till 2023 now. And this is big news for Dortmund, who are so used to losing all their bigger players, their better players. They must be real, real happy they've managed to get this deal done. And I say the forgotten man because two years ago or, or, or around about that time, he was one of the best players in world football. Ability-wise, he still is. But in terms of like what he was doing, his output, but he's just been littered with injuries. And I mean, terrible month, month, month long out injuries. Even just before the major tournaments with Germany, they couldn't take him. Now, I feel really sorry for the guy. He's got like Daniel Sturridge, Gareth Bell level injuries. Maybe worse. He's just so littered with injuries. So I don't know how much game time Dortmund will get out of him. But they must be happy they've kept him. Because he is a big, big player. And if he can keep fit, he is a superstar player. I mean, they'll probably still have people chasing after him again if he picks up form again. But this is big news for Dortmund. So well done to them for getting him tied down to 2023. 
So that's been your daily news today, people, from your boy Drifty. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, I'm out of it.